All right, everyone. Um, I was just in the middle of building the gearbox, and I'm just about to put more back into the case, so I thought I'd stop and just uh, take stock and uh, do a little, um, tiny little vlog, just because it's more of a, I don't know, it's nice seeing stuff apart, isn't it? Um, I was going to time lapse the strip something, but you know, it's such a long-winded process. I've never done this before that I'm half the time I'm checking the internet for references and stuff, so it would it would be half the time of me looking on my phone. <laughs> so anyway, um, so they're all back together, both shafts and the LSD, the diff assembly is everything back together. And I thought I'd just sort of summarize everything and um, sort of, I don't know, show you that you don't need all the glitz and bling of what you think race car should be built in to, to do well. So anyway, I'll, I'll start off with this. So got both shafts done. They're all super finished. Um, uh, and looking really good went together really nicely. I've never built a Honda gearbox and it's not too not too difficult I mean they all they all press and slide together So there's no no clips holding each gear on like what I'm normally used with a used to with other gearboxes and stuff but um as you can see like my my build table isn't It's not it's not a clean room. It's not you know, a dust-free environment. This is this is your average garage full of absolute shit and detritus um, like here's like a million gearboxes that I'm still in the middle of building for for other people and stuff for the old series but you know you don't need that clean room you don't need that million pound garage to do well you can do it in your in your home garage and and not be worried about it you'll still you if you do you, if you're smart about it you can still get the results i mean i do everything that's been tried i build my engines I build my gearboxes i do my i do my welding i do my fabrication i build exhaust manifolds i do grinding i do everything on here and it's covered in shit and dust and, and metal flakes and, and all sorts of um, stuff. But, you know, if I'm building the gearbox, I tidy up first. You know, I sweep up what I can. And I don't have a fan in the corner blowing dust everywhere. So it's just about being smart within, you know, within reason. I've got a little solvent tub that I'm just cleaning the gears as I go along. Um, so if you're smart about it, no problems. Um, and this bench, like, you know, I think, I think this, this belongs to my dad's dad. So it's like... Phew, 60 year old bench and it's still going strong you know I've, I've broken the vices and stuff but they still you know you jimmy them together and they still work but so that's what i mean you know you can still get get awesome results and have great fun and go out racing which is the most important part anyway so the the, the gears are done the diff the spoon diff and the 5.1 final drive you see how shiny it is i don't know can you see that yeah you can mmm shiny anyway so that went on, the bearings went on easily, and when I was putting it together, the flange for the spoon diff is actually offset in the opposite direction of the standard diff. So I was standing there confused for a minute because you have to mount the uh, crown wheel or the final drive um, on the other side of the flange that you would do on a standard one. So anyway, it took a while to figure that out. Anyway, so all that's all talked up. They're all done. Um, cases are all cleaned um, and not focusing there we go all cleaned up I don't know the sh shim shimming shimming check the clearances and what you meant to in, in, the, in the factory manual stuff and it all comes up comes up fine um, got all the crap out of there and just getting ready to to whack it back together and, and hopefully shouldn't have any more surprises and it should all go pretty smoothly and then I'll it's the evening now, but I should be able to start getting the gearbox in. If I get the gearbox in and attack and, and you know strapped to the engine, bolted on, then uh, I should be happy. Um, and uh, yeah, you know this actually this this is the only light in here, so I've got like my my makeshift rigs of I got a snap on under the bonnet sort of light thing there, and I got another snap on um, floodlight up there, and it does a pretty good job of lighting up the entire the entire garage. Um, but yeah, again, just an example of you do what you need to do and. You get shit done. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.